In this video, we're gonna dive into how we can actually apply self-expression into our lives starting today, why it matters and why you should care. And forewarning, some of the content in this video may make you feel a little uncomfortable, but if you hang around to the end, I'm gonna demonstrate an example of self-expression by playing the guitar. Self-expression to me is freedom. It's liberation from the external noises, the distractions of life. You see, most people, and I think we can all relate to this, these little phones over here that control our lives. We wake up in the morning, grab our phone, we go to work, we got a computer, constant stimulation. We go home, we turn on the TV, at night before bed, we look at, the, we look at our phone again, and boom, rat race, living over and over and over again. And we never give ourselves the space to actually step away from reality and check in with ourselves. Because if we just, for one second out of the day, all it takes is a couple seconds to just check in and discover how we're feeling, we can let go. You see, self-expression is not letting go, but you must let go in order to express yourself. So letting go is obviously an important aspect of self-expression. So let's talk about a few ways on how we can let go. Let's keep it simple. So let's say you don't consider yourself a chef and maybe cooking, the thought of cooking sounds abstract to you and that's okay. It's not even a weakness, it's an opportunity because if you do anything new, in order to, to let go of who we consider ourselves as a person, because we are not our identity, we can step into something new. And it's as simple as getting a recipe, going to the grocery store, coming home, and guess what? When you're cooking, it's not about how the food tastes. In fact, it could taste terrible. But you might be surprised. You might actually learn something about yourself during the process. Another example. Now, I don't have kids, so I can't relate to this as much. However, if I did, I could imagine that taking my kid to the park and exploring for new wildlife, whether it be insects or birds, I mean, everything is new for a kid. And you can almost feel that with your children. And it, this can bring you into that state, into the state of innerness, into the state of self-healing. I know this sounds woo-woo, I know this, but as long as it's novel, as long as it's new and you are stepping away from your normal zone, you have the opportunity to come within. You have the opportunity to let go and to be able to then express yourself. Exercise, physical activity in general. For me, I like to go lift weights. It's something I've always enjoyed doing, but the reason I like it is because it's just me, my mind, my breath, and the weights. All distraction and external noises, gone. I find my best thinking and my best understanding of life and what my next step is just by simply sitting there with a the weight in my hand. It's simple. I'm not saying it's easy, but it is very simple. Another thing you can do, easy, simple, all it takes is something new. So just run around your house, blast some music, do whatever you need to do to get here, to do you. Because at the end of the day, Self-expression is you allowing you to be you doing what you do. So in the name of self-expression, let's dive into week three of the guitar. And this week has been a fun one. Self-expression obviously was a topic in my mind. And it's interesting, I was sitting there a couple nights ago and I was going through some chords, um, a few guides, a few YouTube videos, and it started to feel a little stale and I wanted to change it up. And I didn't think I was genuinely ready to sit down and start just strumming chords and kind of coming up with my own rhythm or beats. But I just said, you know what, in the name of self-expression, because here I am talking about it and obviously it's something I want to learn. But by the way, we teach what we want to learn. So I thought, why not give it a shot? And it actually, I surprised myself. For the first time, I actually felt like I was a guitar player versus just the dude playing the guitar. So with that said, let's dive right in and let's see what we got.
So I kept it pretty simple, the E, the A, the G, and the D, because quite frankly, that's all I know, and that's all I can play fast. You hear, I still got a lot of work to do, but I'm starting to actually find my way through the guitar and discovering a lot more about myself than I thought I would ever. Um, you know, the fact that I'm here with you and you're continuing to be here with me means so much. I mean, this is part of my journey and I really appreciate you being part of this process. So look forward to seeing you next week. Cannot wait. Peace. Today we're going to dive into actually how to apply, how to actually apply. Holy crap. How to actually apply. I just want to get this five seconds right. So let's go over a few ways that we can actually do this and how, cut. Three. Still, I'm still learning. So kept it pretty simple. Just stuck with the G, the E, the B. God, I can't even remember. I can't. My mind is just, it's done. Uh, 